Hi everybody, welcome. So here we are with another Timu haul. I have a Timu package and then another, well, both are Timu packages, but I have a Timu package and then this one is from Farmland. So I actually won Farmland, quite, like shockingly. Finally after, I don't know, 20 weeks, I think it said maybe. But, um, so I have two items in there and then I have this bag to go through as well. Um, so if you are new here, thank you so much for coming. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, I appreciate all of you who subscribe to me. And uh, I would like to say if you do subscribe and please, please, I don't wanna beg you, but if you like my channel, please comment, like, subscribe. It helps me so that I can continue to purchase items to review and do hauls with because I get like a tiny little bit of money, um, not much at all by any means, but you know, all of my hauls except for one, I paid for with my own money. The one that was sponsored was the Get Ready With Me, which if you haven't seen it, you can go look. I think I have them all numbered. Um, there's probably 30 something. So yeah, so I have my shout out to Taco Bell my Baja Blast. Hope everybody's doing good. It, it is Wednesday here. I don't know if I'll put this out tonight. Uh, it is getting a little bit late. It's almost seven, so we'll see. These are my little skeleton girl earrings with her dress. I have my extensions in. These are clip-ins. I also did a video on these. These are amazing. These are by a company called Doors Hair Extensions. So, with that being said, let's get into it. So, I think I'm going to open my farmland gifts first. I know what one of these things is, but I don't remember what the other one was. All right. Okay. I don't remember getting this, but okay. My ring light is in the way. Solar charger. So it looks as though it says power your device. It looks as though you can charge this with solar light and then use it for different things like iPad, GPS, cell phone, game controllers. Okay, let's see. I mean, I'm probably not gonna be able to test this out, but pretty cool comes with a clip so that's what it looks like it's blue has a compass in case you're out in the woods and you're trying to charge something and you're lost compass let's see it's saying north is straight ahead and I believe that might be true, honestly. Looks like it may have a flashlight. Um, it says USB, so this clips open, okay. So it has a micro USB and two USB ports. I'm trying to figure out how to turn the flashlight on. Or maybe you just don't. Maybe it's solar powered. Okay, so I hit this button on the side, blue power button, and these blue lights came on. So it looks as though it's fully charged. I just really wonder how to turn the flashlight on. Cause that's kind of cool. Hold it in maybe? No. Hmm. Does come with a charger. Let's see. Compass, LED lights, charging port, pilot lamp, solar panel. Double click the on and off button. Oh, okay. There we go. I don't want to shine it at you, but yeah, it's pretty bright. It's definitely bright. Oh, it flashes. 
If you were in trouble and needed help. Okay, stop. Oh, this is my Timu sweatshirt. I don't know how to stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. Double click. Double click is the trick. All right. That's pretty cool. I feel like you can get many uses out of this, honestly. Uh, I guess you would just sit it outside and let the, the sun, which we have not had much of, power it up. So that is one item. The next one is a car vacuum cleaner. And I think my daughter got one of these, although I don't know if it's the same one. And I don't remember if she said that it, if it worked or not. Never cut towards you. It's so awkward though to cut the other way, to be honest. Okay, okay, let's see. We got some attachments here. We got a little brush. Sorry, my dresser in the background is gray, so it's kind of muting out the color of my attachments. And then this is the actual device, which is cigarette lighter adapter. So I'm not even going to be able to try it, I don't think, unless I plug it into the car. So I have to try this out. Maybe I'll do like a little video uh, or a short on how this actually works. I don't know how much it was, honestly. Strong suction, multiple filtration, silent operation. The motor is powerful. Okay. Output voltage, 12 volt. Output power, 100 watt maybe, it's a W. Yeah, that's about it. That's about all that I have to say about it. Power supply, 12 volt cigarette lighter. All right, we'll see, it looks like it has a filter on it. And just an on and off button. Okay. We shall see. So those were two of my game prizes. I did um, I did go on there today and I got, this looks crooked to me. Do I look crooked to you? I don't know. It looks like it's in line with the top of my dresser, but my, I look crooked. Okay, anyway, maybe I am crooked. Mentally, I'm mentally crooked. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so I went on today and played Farmland and Fishland. I have a couple different accounts and the one I'm down to, two, two of my accounts, I'm down to one fish. And it has literally taken me forever, taken me forever to feed this one fish. It is going 0.04% each time I feed the fish. So I, I placed a few orders for some future videos and I did get free food, but I got maybe like 600 in total between farmland and fishland, uh, 600 a piece. And the, I fed the fish and did the wheat, but the fish, I fed them all 600 foods. And <laughs> I think I got like 3%. So it's becoming a little frustrating, but I am, not giving up. I'm definitely going to win my prizes, which already, some of them are sold out. So I had to chip, pick new prizes. Um, I think I got a bog bag as one of my, my gifts and that was sold out. So I had to pick another gift today. So that was a little frustrating. And I don't know if they're selling out because they are dupes of things, but anyway, it was sold out. So it, I had to go back and repick and I'm, I'm so indecisive. So it was so hard for me to choose. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get into it. All right, if you've seen my hauls before, you've seen me haul this plenty of times and I love it and I get them and I just, 
love them. And I give them to people as gifts, but it's a little positive potato. And I just think he's so cute. Like, look at his mouth. And it says positive potato. I may be a tiny potato, but I believe in you. Go do your thing. And this was $2.99. And he's just a little crocheted potato. But it's cute. If you were to give somebody a gift bag or just some something to make somebody smile or is having a bad day, just keep it in your purse. And, you know, you could just give it to somebody. I thought that was cute. They have a bunch of other ones like tomato and lemons and they have a bunch of cute ones. All right, next we have a personal alarm, alarm and, alarm and strobe light. Let's see. Now I have a feeling, okay, it comes, comes with a clip, a little carabiner. I don't know who made up that word, but it's funny. I think it's funny to say carabiner. Okay. I, it's chargeable. I don't know how to use this, honestly, and I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I feel like it's going to be way too loud and it might scare somebody on maybe watching the video or wake up a child or who knows. But you basically pull this pin out and it sets off the alarm. Pull out the SOS pin, it alarms. Flashlight function, switch the lighting mode every time you click the lighting button and switch between steady and flashing off. Okay. Okay, so one is on, two is flashing, three is off. That's fairly simple. Now I really want to, I really want to pull this. Like I'm so tempted to pull this. Do I do it? And then if I put it back in, will it just stop? Uh, I don't know if I want to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it, but just please like, if you don't want to hear it, mute your TV. I feel like it's going to hurt my ears. I don't know if I want to do it. Never mind, just kidding, don't pause it. I don't wanna do it. It's like hard to pull. And then I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get it back in and then it's gonna ruin the video. Man, I want to so bad. It's like something that somebody tells you like, hey, don't touch that when you're two years old and you wanna touch it so bad. Or it's like, oh, that stinks, don't smell it. And then it's like, I have to smell it now. I wanna pull it. It's a little bit hard. I don't know. No, no. I'll let you know how it works. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully I'll never need it. How about that? I'll never need it. And then I'll, I'll never know what that sound will sound like. Man. I might change my mind by the end of this video. We'll see. Okay. Next we have a, this is kind of different. Okay, so I've bought diamond paintings before and this is more of a wooden plaque. I guess you, you could say, I think it comes on a stand though. Yeah, it does, it comes on a stand and it's gnomes. So it's diamond painting with gnomes. Not with gnomes, with like a wooden stand. I don't know what I'm talking about where I've been delirious all day. Okay, so it comes on this wooden stand. I don't know if it goes that way or this way. I mean, I would assume black, but this is what it looks like. And it has all your little color-coded circles that you put your drills into. I don't know why you can't just call them diamonds. They're diamonds, guys, they're diamonds. I know everybody that's really into diamond painting might yell at me. No, they're drills. I don't, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's a diamond. It's just a fancy word of saying diamond, but it's cool. I'm not mad. That's your diamond tray, your little wax, and then your diamond holder. So you pick up, you put the, this little pen into the wax 
so there, there's wax in this little hole and then you use this to pick up your diamonds all right so that is cute that was 548 so that'll be a fun craft for christmas next we have now i got this free for something and i don't remember what it was i was able to choose a free gift and I really don't remember why. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, who cares? This is a um, fur remover or like a lint remover for your couch. Ooh, okay. That seems to work pretty good. Oh, that works really good. I don't know if I'm snagging my leggings, but all it is is like a spring. And then this side is like a hard plastic comb, which does absolutely nothing. This does nothing. I don't even know what that side's for. Okay, so we got that. Hopefully that works because I do have a black, like velvety couch. And the dogs, they try to be sneaky and jump up on the couch when I'm not looking or when I'm outside or upstairs. So that should work for that. That should work for that. I'm luckily both of our cats are black, so can't really see their hair, but all right, next we have, and honestly, I don't know why I bought this. I don't, I thought it was cute and I like loofahs and I like mitts for the shower, but it just, it's funny. This is like, you can put this in your five-year-old's stocking. It was $2.48. I'm just a child at heart, I think. My daughter always makes fun of me, but when we go out, I like to look at silly things and toys and... I don't know. That's, that's me. <laughs> mm, hold on. You see it? I think this is supposed to be her hair. I don't know, it looks like a Disney princess with, what do they call those? Poof, puff, shower poof, hair. She looks kind of creepy. Oh, excuse me. And then the other side is not even like, I don't know if you could tell, it's not rough. I mean, it's a little rough, but it's not like rough like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's rough enough to exfoliate. Yeah, it would be good to put your, your shower gel or your soap on. And this, I now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know why I bought this because this is kind of useless. Like you would have to like rub just her hair on your body. I don't know. I don't know why I bought that. Maybe I'll give it to the five-year-old next door after I rubbed all of my skin, <laughs> skin all over it. Oh, Lord. Just trying to get through the day, okay? Just trying to get through. These are 87 cents, and I'm not gonna open this, but this is a plastic ball with a little hook, and there's a poncho in it. So I got a blue one, a red one, 87 cents, and another red one. I really thought I got pink, but I guess I got two reds and a blue. They had different colors. Some were more expensive than others. I don't know why they do that, but yeah. So they each have a poncho in them that you can wear in the rain. Like in... Like, it, I'm sure they're not the best poncho. They're probably so thin and, and horrible. But it would probably do the trick. And it, I think it has a hood, so you can put it over you. But if you just get stuck somewhere, this would be good. Put in your purse. I don't know. Like, I don't really want to carry this around in my purse. but And it's kind of big for your keychain. But you can put it wherever. Keep in your car, I guess. All right. Now, I know you guys have probably seen me so many times, but I need this. Now, if you watched my review walkthrough haul 
of all the things that I have out and I'm using and uh, reviewed for you, then you would see that in my shower, I don't have much room. So we have a seat, which I don't like to keep anything on, obviously because you sit on it. So we have the seat and then we have this teeny tiny little shelf that goes around. And it doesn't even fully go around, like it goes around the corner and then it goes down one side just a little bit. But it's like this wide. It's wide enough to like hold my shampoo bottles and they have to be skinny, hold my shampoo bottles. So I figured this would be perfect for the corner. So it's just a shelf, it's a white shelf and it comes with your hooks that you would hook it on with. Um, and this was $4.79. And I, I haven't noticed a problem. I have another hanging thing in there and um, it's just a bar that has these hooks and it has little uh, like S hooks that hang off and I've hung my nail scrubber, uh, my shower door cleaner, my, what else do I have on there? My poof. I don't know what else. Maybe a wash rag. I don't remember, but these work good. These actually work good in the shower. Now, I don't know if there's like direct water coming onto them, if they would work, but in my shower they do. Next, we have a robe. This was $247. This probably is no longer $247, honestly. But when I go on sometimes, if I'm looking for something in particular, the trick to it, I think I have a, I have a hair fuzz in my nose. I think the trick to it is to search what you're looking for. Don't be too specific, unless you have to be, like unless it's something that you're really, really like wanting, something in particular. But I just Googled shower throw or a bathrobe or something like that and at the top you do you select sort low to high so it'll give you all of the lowest price items first and then and then it'll go higher but that's what I did with this and that's how I got this for 247 so this is basically a robe without sleeves I could show you here and I don't know if they had sizes honestly I feel like they didn't but I'm not sure I don't remember choosing a size so it kind of looks like a long vest made out of now I'm covered in fuzz made out of um a bath towel okay I have no idea what I'm doing here guys This looks goofy. Okay, so I have a pocket here. It's cute. This looks so goofy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're just using it for the shower. This doesn't seem right. What is happening? <laughs> this is not right. This is not right. This cannot be right because look, if I, <laughs> If I stood up, what is going on? Now this side doesn't have a pocket. That kind of throws me off because when I put my hand in my pocket, I always reach for both pockets. This is not right. Okay, this is what the back looks like, you know, normal. Somebody help. I need an adult to help me. I don't know. Wait, let me look. Now I'm sitting on it. Let me look. Okay. Make this make sense. Make this make sense. This should not be this difficult. I'm about to call my daughter up. One, two. One. Two. Oh Lord, what did I do? What did I do? I don't know what I did the first time around. Oh my goodness. 
these buttons don't seem very very good like if you I'm gonna pop a nail off if you use this quite a few times you might lose a button all right let's try this again round two round two of the bath robe okay this one no what Now I take it off and I can do it. Okay, we're not doing round three here. I'm just gonna button it and show you. I don't know why this is so hard to do when it's not on my body. Okay. It's been a long day, I'm telling you. It's been a long day. Okay. There, see, normal, normal. When I put it on, why is it not like that? Well, anyway, there's an awesome, awesome bathrobe that I'll never figure out how to use for $247. i am going to have my daughter put it on. I'm going to see if she, she can do it. We'll see. So cute. My ring light. This is a keychain. This one's a little bit different, which is so cool. So you can hang it off your keys. Life was all out of lemons. So here's a potato instead. Life was out of lemons. Make lemonade. No. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Not when life is out of lemons, you make lemonade. Come on, come on. Ugh. $2.99. We'll get through this. We will get through it together. Y'all are going to help me. So please make sure you comment because I love to hear from you guys. Please, please, please. Okay. So we got about six more things. Next we have a key. Now I already have one of these on my key ring. Although I forget that it's on there. Always. Always forget that it's on there. But if you get this, just be very careful because it is extremely sharp. And it's like this iridescent color. And it looks like a key, but it's actually a knife. Now, if you were to, uh, I wouldn't suggest, looks like it has a Mercedes Benz logo. Can you see that? Okay, so. You know, if you need to cut something open in a GIF or uh, you just needed a knife in general, or I actually got it for safety because I want it for safety. It was 198. I think somebody's coming up to my door. I can see that hall light coming on. I have those sensor lights under my banisters. So I have one at the top and then one at the bottom, but they keep burning out because the cats love to just play around in front of them all night. And so they just keep burning out. But I just saw that light come on. Now this is 147. And I feel like I could have gotten this cheaper. Sorry. But basically, it's like a little spatula. So if you needed to get something out of the bottom of a jar, uh, peanut butter, anything that's hard to get out, like sour cream, because what I end up doing is I stick a spoon in and I'm scraping around and then I have like sour cream all over my hand. So this would be good. And it's long. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's long. So it would definitely be able to get to the bottom of a peanut butter jar or whatever. Um, but that's very useful. I like useful things. All right, what do we have? A hairline shadow pen. I've been wanting to try this so bad. So I'm not losing hair by any means, but sometimes I've noticed when I pull my hair back, uh, there's not, there's not like bald spots, but it's maybe like thinning hair. I don't want to think that, but maybe that's what it is. So I got this shadow 
shadow pen, ML Smile. I don't even think I read you the price there, did I? I don't know, maybe I did. 178. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it looks like you can't see, well, yeah, you can maybe. It looks like the shadows in the lid and then this part is basically a little sponge. Oh, okay. So let's test it out. Let's see if I can, we'll do it on my part. How about that? I honestly can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, now I have no part. Or I don't know, maybe I do. You guys could probably see better than me. Um, that's kind of cool. Like I said, I can't really see what I'm doing. I don't have my glasses on my bifocals my glasses are partially bifocals and I was so nervous because everybody said but you can't, you can't tell sorry you can't tell there's there's no line but they're half normal glasses because I can't see far away and apparently now I can't see close either so um the doctor said well you know try these out for a couple days if you know, if they make you dizzy or whatever, let us know and we'll exchange them, blah, blah, blah. So I did, but everybody was telling me, oh my goodness, you know, they're going to be horrible. They're going to make you dizzy. You're going to be seeing, you know, the floor is a different level, but they actually worked out perfectly fine for me and I love them. But now I just have a hard time seeing. Like my, I'll have them on and my, my daughter was showing me something today. I think it was nails. We went to Ulta and I was like this. She's like, why are you looking like that? And I'm like, I'm trying to see out of my bifocals. Okay? That's what it's like to get old. Okay. This is one item that I ordered in a package that got lost. Now, I ordered, before I got all this sponsored makeup from Timu, I ordered a whole uh, list of makeup items that got lost in Ohio. Somebody in Ohio has my stuff and so it got lost in Ohio anyway, but this was sent separately, which is so, so strange. It's just blush, I believe. I don't know why they had to send it separately, but that's what they do. Send everything separately and then it messes up my organizational skills. Not that I really had any to begin with, but it messes me up because I, you know, I get certain things for certain hauls. And then they'll send me like a bunch of different things in one package or a bunch of separate things. And then I'm going through trying to check prices on multiple different accounts and orders. So back to the blush. Anyway, if that's what this even is, I don't know. This was like two months ago. Yes, H-I-Y-S-A. So this is what the package looks like. That's what the blush looks like. It looks very orange. Why did I get that? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's just on camera. It looks orange. Okay. Um. <sighs> oh, it smells so funny. I wish I could explain to you what it smells like. Okay. 18 coats later, this is what it will look like. I mean, it's not bad, it's peach. Kind of like smeared it together a little bit. But it smell, oh, I can't tell what it smells like. I could smell it, shockingly, but I can't tell you what it smells like. It reminds me like kids play makeup or like a cheap, a cheap uh, lipstick that you would get circa like 1980 that you may still have laying around. 
I don't know. I'm going to try it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? Might break me out a little bit. I haven't actually, I went through this weird phase. Like when I was younger, I broke out a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't ever bad. I never had bad acne. Thank goodness. But later, maybe a few years ago, I started getting really bad breakouts and I actually used proactive and that cleared it up, but I haven't used it probably in about six months. And my skincare routine is fairly simple. I just, I use a, I don't even know what cleanser I use, but anyway, I just use like a simple cleanser with my makeup eraser and that's about it. That's how I wash my face. But I'm hoping that once I use this Timu makeup for a little bit, it doesn't break me out because then I'll be really upset. So I finally got rid of, maybe it's like hormonal acne, but I finally got rid of it. Okay, this was $3.98. We have a Diamond Art Kit. And I really have to, it's so overwhelming to me, I really have to go on Timu and order some of the, what are they? Magnetized frames. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought there. Earth to Ashley. Okay, so I have to order the magnetized frames, but the problem is I have so many things that I want to frame and I don't remember the sizes or dimensions. So it's like overwhelming for me to have to go back through all my stuff, measure them out, then go on and order. I mean, I need to, I have to, but it seems like too much for me at the moment. I'm sure I will end up doing it, but it's a black cat with a pumpkin. And it's so cool. Like it actually like looks, it looks like it's glowing which is so neat. I hope once the drills are on it, AKA diamonds, uh, that it will look like that. Hopefully it'll look like it's glowing. We'll see. Now I'm really gonna have a heck of a time trying to get it back in here. Can anybody go to the pumpkin patch? I really want to go to the pumpkin patch. I said, I know I said that like two weeks ago, but I want to go. I want to get my pumpkins. I, know, I don't have much time. Can anybody go to the pumpkin patch? Get some apple cider. We have one here where you can go. And I think it's like a... I know for the Christmas trees it was. You can ride this tractor and you go out um, and you pick out your Christmas tree. If you want like the balsam fir, it's over in this section. And if you want the whatever, I forget what we we got. A blue, blue balsam, blue fir, blue spruce. Maybe it was blue spruce, uh, but it was over in that section. They drop you off and they take forever to come back and get you. And then you're like, screw it. I'm just gonna walk with my tree. Anyway, I think they have pumpkin patches like that. I haven't been to one in so long where you go on your little hayride and then, you know, they'll drop you off in the patch and you pick your pumpkin. But I feel like at this point in time, there's probably not a whole lot of pumpkins left. So I might as well just go to Walmart and get my pumpkin. But that was a tangent. The last item we have, and we're at 39 minutes. That seems to be the average. And I've noticed a lot of you guys, um, I was looking at my analytics. I noticed a lot of you guys that watch my videos, uh, maybe 60% are not subscribed. So again, if you, if you could, I mean, it's free, it's simple. Just, you know, if you watch my videos and you like it, just subscribe. Uh, it, it helps me. It really does. And then I can, like I said earlier, I feel like a broken record, but I can, you know, keep doing these hauls for you guys or do whatever, do whatever you want. You can let me know even in the comments if there's something different you would like to see or see me do. I was thinking about, I went today to Hobby Lobby and I got a couple of sweatshirts and I'm going to iron on my transfers, my iron on transfers onto the sweatshirts because uh, they're only like a dollar on Timu. So I thought that's perfect. The sweatshirt was 11, so that's like $12, but um, I still think it's cheap anyway, but yeah, I mean, if you could subscribe, because like I said, 60% of people that watch are not subscribed, which kind of shocked me, actually. Uh, so that would be awesome. Anyway, boots. 
Well, I don't know if you call these boots. The, okay, maybe slipper shoes, slippers, house shoes. I'd wear these out. I don't care. I'd definitely wear them out. They're 38. That's the sole. 38, I believe, is translated to a seven or eight. I'm not sure. I'm a six and a half, six, six and a half, sometimes even seven. Who knows? They have a little tie here, fuzzy side. Stop going black on me. I'm gonna try to get my boot off. I have some like super fuzzy socks on, so I don't know how this is gonna work out. It might be too small with my fuzzy socks. That looks so silly. <laughs> Such a bad angle. How about this? No, that, that looks just as silly. Anyway, I mean, you get the gist of it. They're comfortable though. Let me see what the inside is. Okay, the inside, I don't know if you've ever seen like the bottom of a, an Ugg boot. The inside kind of looks like that. It's like a creamy colored fuzzy material. So it's not all this. This feels more like bunny hair. But it's it's soft. It's not super cushiony. I'm not going to lie. It's not super cushiony. But they feel really comfortable regardless. And this up here is stitched. It's all stitched around here. So they're cute. And they were $16.47, like I said. But I like them. I'll definitely wear them. I don't think I'll be able to wear them with these socks. These socks are a little too thick. So yeah, there you have it. There was my Timu haul. And like I said, let me know if you want to see any other um, items or hauls or videos in general. I did recently, well, probably last night, I think I added a bunch of uh, iron-on transfers into my cart because I thought, Wow, that's perfect. You know, the iron-on transfer is a dollar, dollar twenty-nine at most, I think. And I can make my own t-shirts and sweatshirts like this. But I have to find a place that sells them cheaper than eleven dollars because even though that's still cheap, eleven dollars plus the dollar twenty-nine, that's still twelve dollars. I usually can get sweatshirts on Timu for under $12. So I have to find a store that sells them for less than 11. And that was at Hobby Lobby and it was even on sale. So 30% off. But um, yeah, so I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great evening. I'm going to go finish my dinner. What am I making? Pork loin with some garlic Parmesan potatoes, the little mini potatoes and probably some broccoli and cauliflower. I think that's what, what I'm gonna do as a vegetable, but I have to go down and finish that. That should be done soon. And then I don't know, maybe we'll watch a Halloween movie or something. My daughter was talking about watching some type of Halloween movie, although I, th I don't think there's many new or good ones out. So we usually end up just watching the regular Halloween Michael Myers movie. But um, yeah, so I hope you have a good night. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please, please feel free to do so. I mean, it's, they're easy to find and they're all numbered. You can start from one and work your way up or work your way down. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good evening and a good weekend because I probably won't see you again. I do have a couple of things to review, but I probably won't see you again till next week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, hopefully Monday, but I'll see you. Have a good night. Thank you for watching.